How's it going guys? Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. Uh, so if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how to check your uh, caster or pinion angle on your Jeep. Uh, could be any Jeep that has a solid front axle. So if you want to check it at home, you're going to need a uh, magnetic angle finder. Um, just like this. Got this on Amazon. Um, has a magnet right there. Um, it's pretty cheap. So it tells you your uh, degrees of what the angle's at. Um, so if you want to uh, check your pinion, pinion angle or caster, uh, you can do it from the uh, the C's, the outer C's, or at the pinion. Um, so we know that the stock uh, JK axle and other Jeep axles have uh, six degrees of separation. So what that means is the degree between the outer C, or the inner C, and your uh, your pinion angle is going to be six degrees uh, separated. So if you have uh, say you have zero degree pinion angle, it's completely flat, you're going to have six degrees caster. Um, if you have two degree pinion angle, you're going to have four degrees caster. So you can either check one or the other and it'll give you uh, what your angle is. Or you can check both to uh, make sure. Now this is an aftermarket Dynatrack uh, Pro Rock with built in, uh, has more caster, has 10 degree separation. So if I have five degrees caster, I'm going to have a five degree pinion angle. Um, so let me show you how to check it, uh, see what your numbers are. So after you get a uh, angle finder, um, you're good to go. So I'm going to show you how to check it on the uh, on the on the C, uh, right on top of the bowl joint. It's a machined, you know, flat surface, good enough for a, a home reading when you're setting your uh, alignment. So uh, let me turn the wheel uh, to the driver so I can uh, get a good reading. All right, so I got the tire turned, uh, so I got easy access. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. I know I'm running a lot of caster uh, just because I haven't dialed everything in perfectly yet and with the Pro Rock housing uh, you can. So right there you can see um, right around 10 degrees maybe 11 um, so that means my pinion angle is going to be zero um, just because of the aftermarket housing. If you have uh, the stock uh, 44 or 30 if you had 10 degree caster you would have uh, uh, what ne you'd have freaking uh, negative uh, <laughs> negative four pinion angle, which would be horrible. So uh, let me go sh show you how to check it on the pinion. So I'm under here, got it on the uh, on the pinion. Uh, if you have a yoke or a flange, just put it on a flat surface and uh, look at your reading. So mine's at zero, like I expected. Um, so if you come down on your Jeep and you have a stock axle, uh, if you're reading a zero degrees here, you would have six degrees of uh, caster. So in my case I have 10 because once again of the aftermarket housing. So uh, yeah, I'll probably dial uh, dial in my uh, lower and upper control arms uh, just to get a probably, I'll probably go with 2 or 3 degrees uh, with my pinion angle which will give me a, roughly 7 degrees caster. Um, so yeah, I'm still running the uh, stock shaft so the, the CV joint up on that side makes up for the uh, the super low pinion angle. Um, Alright, I'm going to hop out of here. Alright, yeah, so that's uh, an easy way to check your caster or pinion angle at home uh, after a lift or, you know, when you're dialing in your control arms. Um, but yeah, just make sure whenever you're checking it, you're checking it on a flat surface. Also, if you're on somewhere with uh, uneven ground, if you're on a downhill slope, like if I was down there, that's going to throw the readings off. So, uh, you can also measure the uh, degree of your driveway or wherever you're doing it, just to uh, calculate that and toward, calculate that uh, and put that towards your readings. You know, if you're on an uphill slope, make sure you uh, uh, compensate for that. But yeah, so I mean, if you're doing this on a on a stock axle, 44, or 30, like I said earlier, you're gonna have six degrees of the separation. Um, you really want a happy medium between uh, your caster angle and pinion angle, so don't go too overboard on uh, on one. The happy spot for most Jeeps is going to be right around 5 or even 4 for lifted Jeeps uh, just because you're going to be taken away from that pinion angle. Uh, so You don't want bad vibrations at highway speeds, but then again you don't want to be all flighty all over the road with a low caster. So, Well, I uh, hope this uh, video helped you guys and uh, like I said you can get that meter um, or the angle finder on Amazon or I'm pretty sure you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick one up. So uh, yeah. Um, don't be afraid to try to dial the stuff in yourself. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, you know, just get it to a happy medium, which you like. 
Um, and then for your other alignments, your toe, uh, that's not too hard to set either, but there's thousands of videos explaining that. This one's just simply how to check your caster and pinion angle. So hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos about the Jeep and other projects. So uh, yeah, enjoy, and I uh, hope you learned something from the video.